Ranking the best free safeties in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today we got free safeties. Now right before we do go ahead and re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. Uh, I think one thing changes and that's going to be the fact that Kevin Byard's value just got increased like so much again. So in my opinion, I think Kevin Byard is now S+. Because he can get two zero AP abilities and the AP update that cut the AP in half, I think he is extremely, extremely valuable. So I would say he is the best free safety in the game. And I don't really think that's uh, changing with today's update. Now, the first card we got right here is an interesting one. We got 93 overall Rodney Thomas, the second. So he's six foot two. So good height. He can be up to 98 speed sugar rush track card, low play rec, but great zone and man. And you might be wondering, Dill, why are you covering a 93 overall? Well, we'll go over that in a second. And I will say not this one, not the green card art. We're going to want the uh, silver card art right here. Now for traits, what am I looking for on? Yes, I, I would like big hitter on yes and play ball in air aggressive. So, so far, he isn't hitting a lot of the stuff we're looking for, but for his abilities, he can get pick artist, tip drill, flat zone, deep out zone KO, and deep end zone KO for three AP. Now, before, I think this card would have ranked a lot higher for me, but now you have to justify spending three AP, like half of your defense's AP on this card. I don't really think it's worth it anymore. In my opinion, um... Oh, this is tough. I think like he would have maybe been A tier for me, but now he's like C, I think, or B. He's C or B. Spending half your AP on him. Just don't think it's worth it. I'm going to go ahead and put him in the C tier. After that, we get some rookie cards right here. First one, Antonio Johnson of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Was picked in round five, pick 160. He's six foot three, so good height. 95 speed, 95 excel. Has 90 play rec, which is solid. 90 man, 90 zone. And pretty decent in the uh, run game as well. For traits, no big hitter, but does have play ball in air aggressive. We like that. But they did these cards kind of dirty. Um, They get one AP everything, but no discounted abilities. So for me, he's someone that I would probably run no abilities on, crazy enough, or like a one AP deep route KO. Uh, I think he's better AP value than Rodney Thomas. I just think they did these cards a little bit dirty. So for me, I th think he will be... <sighs> By Terry Kennard in the B tier. I don't feel like that's crazy because, again, he can get, uh, like, 1 AP deep route KO. Kind of similar to Jevon Holland, but Jevon Holland does get a pick artist on top of that. And right after that, we got Brian Branch, who is very similar to Antonio Johnson. This time, round 2, pick 45 of the Detroit Lions. Could be up to 97 speed with the Sugar Rush track card. Pretty good excel, pretty good agility. Pretty solid play rec with 91. Good man, good zone. Not, not as good in the run game. For his traits, he does have big hitter, and he has play ball in air balance. And once again, for his abilities, he is very similar to the cards we already covered again gets like one ap everything but no zero ap ability so again i think he is solid but i don't really think he's top in uh for me he's going right by antonio johnson and right after that we got daniel scott so daniel scott is the fastest of the bunch can get up to 98 speed and pretty good change of direction all that stuff and again pretty decent play rec more of a zone coverage defender than man coverage i'm looking for a man coverage to hit 90 i know it's 89 but i'm looking for 90 this time pretty decent in the box stats too he's six foot two and for traits has no big hitter but does have play ball in air aggressive which again is really really nice and same exact story for his abilities um i think he is the best out the bunch but he's not ra uh, ranking any higher for me for me he's going uh like just above these cards he's still b tier but i think he's the best out of this bunch right here now right after that we got jonathan owens pretty good card right here so he's 5 foot 11 he can be up to 99 speed with the sugar rush track card right now great acceleration as well the play rec is a tad bit low um kind of crazy that 95 overalls that are rookies have higher play rec than him but he has 97 zones so really good zone coverage defender not great in the box i would not recommend playing him in the box now for his traits no big hitter and also play ball in air balance so not really ideal trait wise now for his abilities he is someone that can get zero ap deep end zone ko zero ap pick artist to me he's a zero ap pick artist player and like one ap deep out zone ko which at this point may even be like top end ability wise for me 99 speed but the play rec is low i don't think he's as good as the people in a and I don't know if this is a bad take or not. I'm putting him more top in the B. Maybe could see him A. And I don't love that he's on the same tier as these people because he can get a zero AP pick artist. But to me, he's very similar to Jevon Holland. Like these two cards are top in the B and like these four cards right here bottom in the b which i do think there is a pretty big difference between these cards so so maybe these two should be a but again i don't really like that i'm gonna go ahead and keep them uh, top in the b now we just got 99 overalls first one right here justin simmons so justin simmons six foot two could be up to 99 speed just a free agent track card has amazing play rec with 96 great zone coverage defender and pretty good man coverage as well not the best in the box stats but he can do it like he, he's very very solid in the box and for his traits no big hitter but he does have play 
play ball and air aggressive. Now let's take a look at his abilities real quick. Uh, zero AP mid zone KO, I actually think is really, really valuable. So he's someone that can, if you wanna run zone, maybe mid zone and deep out zone KO for one AP total. I think that's pretty valuable. So for me, Justin Simmons is gonna be someone that ranks pretty high for me. He is going to be S tier and like top in the best. I love the zero AP KO on him. I think every card that has a zero AP KO skyrockets in value. I think they are a lot better than they were before the AP patch because me personally, my defense, I am already, I was already full sending the KOs. I was running people without pick artists and now it makes that defense like even better. Like without pick artists, sometimes your defenders will just swat the ball or they won't get the interceptions, but I think it's way more important for them to get a KO and actually be able to play their zone or actually be able to play their man. I guess what I'm saying is I'll take a swat over getting like agged. And right to that we get logan ryan so sugar rush track card 99 speed on him he is 5 foot 11 really amazing physical stats and great play rec has really good man and perfect zone coverage with 99 uh not really great in the box stats but if you're playing something that's 5 11 195 in the box that's kind of crazy and for his traits no big hitter but he does have play ball in air aggressive which we do like now well, let's take a look at his abilities. He is, again, someone that is a lot higher than he was yesterday. Uh, zero AP deep out zone KO, zero AP mid zone KO. Again, love the players with the zero AP KOs right now. He's someone that I, if I was running zone, I'd run deep out zone KO and mid zone for one AP total. So for me, Logan Ryan is going to be S tier, and I really like him. I can see an argument where he's third best free safety in the game. And honestly, Justin Simmons and Logan Ryan are a little bit better over the top, in my opinion, than Kevin Byard. Kevin Byard is just a perfect in the box free safety in my opinion, just given ability stats wise, not really, but ability wise, yes. And now we got the last card of the video right here, Chad Johnson, free safety, six foot one, could be 99 speed free agent track card, great zone coverage, great play rec as well. And again, he's someone that can get deep out zone KO for zero, uh, mid zone for zero, pick artist for zero, and even deep route KO for zero. So he has the versatility to play man or zone. Love the card. Love this card. He is probably my favorite uh, over the top free safety right now, even over Justin Simmons and them. But yeah, I think he's really, really top tier. And yeah, y'all, this has been my update for free safeties and Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Again, this list was based on my opinion and really like with the AP patch. And honestly, I could see a world where these three cards right here are the only ones in S. I don't love like dropping Shanti and Leon in them. I really don't, but that's how high I am on the zero AP KO. So I hope y'all did enjoy this video though. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 23. Now, if you want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with a follow. We have been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like head over to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. This was my most recent episode of No Money Spent.